Hello. I realized that my mic was off for everything I did today. <laughs> uh, sometimes. And the Massachusetts public school system designated me a okay. class A moron. Oh, no. I think I have my chat thing set up and my mic is on. Uh, I just signed in to try to do um, an Iron Docs, just a 20. I'm just in somebody else's key. It's not a very high key or anything like that, but um, I kind of just wanted to try out a different build. Or like a slight couple things. There's this trinket that I'm messing with right now. Um, and there's also... I do want to bring... Let's see. I don't want to like ruin my ruin the chances of those people having the key, but I've been messing around with Final Reckoning, so I wanted to bring Final Reckoning in. Uh, oh, disclaimer, not that any rat would ever watch my content and think like, yeah, this is what to do. Um, don't do what I'm doing. Do it! Uh, should probably just like, just you know, do, it! do what do what everyone don't else does. Um, I just like to have fun and mess with builds and stuff like that. Um, so whatever I'm doing here, I'm not putting forth as like some sort of secret sauce for like better DPS or something like that. What I'm do you just put like in that to have sauce? With well, you start with a little um, lemon and juice and yes. ketchup. <laughs> Although I like to do that, I usually do it with my own keys, but my own key is a little high right now. And a 20, we should be able to time as long as we're playing correctly. So that's my excuse on this. I'm not just like using this guy's key as an experiment for my own sake or anything like that. I, I actually intend to, to play hard and try to time his key too. Um, so I've been running since last night. My friend gave me this trinket that you can't loot. Uh, it's an agility trinket, but it's a mastery amp that lasts for 20 seconds and a two minute cooldown. So if you play right, you know, like, hey, that's two minutes. That's what my wings is. You know, we always look in for amps uh, to pair with Avenging Wrath. And I was like, let's try it. And I was pretty pleased with the result. Like, the burst was pretty good. I mean, I think probably overall, it, even if it's usable, it probably ends up making all of your damage, like, pretty even at the end, your overall. But I'm not sure. I will say my burst definitely went up. I mean, it's over 1,000 mastery. It says 921 on there, but the is like 100 and, or 1,000 something, like, low. But either way, it brings you me, me to over 90 or at 90% mastery before procs for Ashes to Ashes. So, I mean, if you get lucky, that's rat, that's rat gameplay. If you get lucky, you might sort of maybe keep up <laughs> with some specs. I'm gonna port over there. I kept these folks waiting long enough. I think, you know, I'll just leave this alone because I'm trying a different weapon as well. I'm going to do the Sanctified Wrath standard build. I don't want to, like, risk doing a lot less damage um, for this guy's key. I know that these things work fine, and it's going to be a negligible difference anyways. I think. Most of this stuff is pretty negligible differences. Here we go. Help me summon. I may have to cl close these blinds behind me. Yeah, so if you saw the videos earlier, let's see, just a bunch of my mouth moving and no sound. <laughs> so, genius. Some days my brain just isn't here, you know? You know, I think I am gonna close those blinds. Excuse me. I like the light. It's really nice, actually. Nice natural light, but it's a bit much sometimes on the screen. Okay. Here we are. Just... Doing a little chill run. <clears throat> 
Is there work to be done? I suppose they'll tell me if I need to. Excuse me. Skip. I assume like most groups, they're probably not gonna last on the trash. See what we got. Dan Torment. Get that consecration down. Practice for dragon flight. 100% dragon flight. Or er, consecration. <laughs> up, up time. <laughs> I've kind of memed on that already. I should uh, get a new joke. I'm like watching this healer like a hawk right now. I just totally wanted to die apparently. Thank you so much, healer. Thank you. Oh no. Yeah, get out of there. He's on my side. He's looking for me and I'm looking for him, you know? It's a little bit of that community feeling right there. Oh! What the hell? How did... Are these other guys using any sort of disruption effects? I'm just not sure. Or maybe it was just bad luck. I know I got the arrow. That can't stop that, but... I've never just died there like that. Or maybe I've just been the lucky one, usually. Goodness. Yeah, barbed arrow barrage. That was bad. At least I have CDs ready. Gonna go Zolg mix. Does he got threat? Let's find out. What the hell's lantern? Suck, man. Can I get like a disruption effect or two out of you guys? Oh, well, now you did it. Because it was on you, probably, you little jerk. I didn't have anything. Thank god I had bubble up there. I'll just gonna let me get mind control. <laughs> I don't have anything, so good luck, friend. Could just take Blinding Light, that's probably the smarter play, but I get pretty good usage out of Fist of Justice in here. Stop some of the more ugly debuffs from coming out. 
a little bit more often. A couple times per full. I like it, you know. I got nothing, man. I got nothing, man. Out for the sleepy. Oh no. I'm dead. I got you, buddy. Classic example of me being a troll. I could have been doing so much damage that I was actually a juicy troll and then I got hit by the sleepy cloud. Hodge and it went to an immune target. Like, I wasn't trying to hodge him. I wasn't trying to hodge anything other than that. Oh, whatever. I hate targeting in this game sometimes. I really do. Are we all melee? It would seem that way. So I guess that guy's just gonna shoot our legs. I'm not gonna be that guy. Screw that. Let's get this done, shall we? I don't fancy having my leg shot while I'm gonna deal with fire. Goodness, people are so uncooperative. Maybe the priest will give me a PI if I'm behave. Here we are again, it's like, it's a 20 key, and we decided to lust this. This is what we decided to lust, not like, the huge pull. Doesn't make sense. The amount of time that you spend fighting bosses overall is pretty short. Where is the purge? I wish that was off GCD Blizzard. Along with Horse and maybe like Divine Shield. Imagine if, if Shield of Vengeance was off GCD like it used to be. I don't mean to be salty about it, it's just the same old story with me, isn't it? Oh, that was a waste of delay. He didn't need your help. We will do You're taking good care of me, so I can get all these stuns out. We need a refreshment. Oh, sir, this is the last of the drum that we have. Blackhead will have our hide if we show up empty-handed. Gosh, do not question my authority. This isn't just any drum. This is Skalak, son of Moon. The blood of a champion forces me We're pulling some more? I don't know. No. Guess not. Hmm, I'm not exactly topped off. I need to stay a little bit back. 81. Line of sight. Any 
anytime you want to get in the star there, bro. I'm not parsing, I'm just... Demo Roar. Nice one. Casting a Speller ability removes a stack. Ha! Would you look at that? Maybe I here? underestimated them. He's trying to steal Dogosh, them. Prepare Skalak. No, Let he's trying to pull them together. That's like what he has well, to offer. Igniting the cannon, sir! Weird. How was he already rezzing him and I was like stuck in combat? It always happens to me. I wasn't even gonna pop, I was just gonna let it go, but I've never had my CDs work out quite like this before. You know, I don't usually run with demon hunters, maybe. I seem to remember someone saying like they're they don't always have damage up. I've raided with demon hunters, I should kinda of know, but I just forget these things. I certainly don't see them in keys a lot often. I think they're better than my spec, so that's all I really know. Better.
such a wonderful effects. No, oh, the art. Come on. This is gonna be interesting. She actually had like breath that mattered. Perhaps I'm wrong about that. No! Well, that was pointless, wasn't it? I just tried to help everybody out. Should have just kept going on boss, huh? I like this pre skin of API, it's really nice of him. The burst seems to be pretty good. I think it was somewhere around 41k. Okay, so that doesn't work. Uh, three target boss probably could be tighter and higher. Half of our army's been taken I'll take it, man. Don't you think we should? That was an insignificant loss. Let them exhaust themselves. Anything that augments, no. Against, our uh, weak. against those who are unworthy of serving Might need to do a little bit of a UI thing. Oh, here we go again. That is all the I don't like to use like all new like UI stuff. I don't like to use all UI and whatnot, but I like this soft UI just fine. But I guess I can see the merit. I used to use wait, like I don't even remember what it was called now. I used to use stuff like that when I was younger and I remember just it took a long time for me to set up and Like, if I can make the game run just fine, as is, then I don't really bother. But there is a lot of merit behind um, There's a lot of merit. To moving your buttons up so that you can kind of see what's going on, like, without, like, moving your eyes off the place, makes it quite as much, sorry, there's, like, a big lack of being using. I pay a lot of attention during this trash, there's a lot of really dangerous stuff. I know it's just 20, but... Extremely dangerous. I always like rending cleave, get out. I don't think the tank is showing very good awareness of that ability. But then again, those guys kind of position how they like, feel like as well. Probably speaking of awareness of an ability, I just like made that more damage than it needed to be. That was my bad. But yeah, if you bring up your buttons, that's what I've seen a lot of people do. Bring them all up higher. It's a little bit nicer to see. Easier to see. Playing these games anymore. 
Bring in the saber on and we'll be done with it. Uh, are you sure you want to let that thing out of its cage? I don't think we fed it since we found it. Put a muzzle on it. Good idea. Yeah, I actually think you could probably bait the lava bursts from the things. The Rylax. I can't believe I'm just now seeing that, but I think it's possible since it seems like he picks three targets. Maybe it's not that. So we can grab the man on that. I'll have to ask if I'm ever if I'm in a group with cons, I'm gonna ask them to do that. I need that. Just set a whole floor as in like total chaos. This is some of the most annoying trash in my mind. CD timing is a little bit off. It's a little bit off of the normal, and I'm not sure why that is. It must just be our damage profile from the other blokes. So. Oh, he lost it right away. That's what. I, uh, all right. Oh, got everything I need. Here we go. out of the cage then uh oh wait i always assume it's me <laughs> it's been me like for every run that i've done recently it's like this weird thing between oshir and myself he has it out for me maybe i look tasty because i'm slow let's hope somebody decides to be generous and cc here yay happens when you don't know other people's specs, guys. Very stupid commentary. Um, How dare 67%. you march into my docks and so brazenly set foot on specs. my ship? But it's okay. Nothing will stop it's unfortunate CD timing isn't going to match up. And I'll have to wait for the grand smash. Um, Dogash, man the machine I don't want to start Oh, dear. I'm in big trouble. Go with the rat. Hey, thank you, Mr. Priest. You're like looking out for me. You saw that. I saw that. But I will look out for you. That's what brothers do. Get topped up. When we come back. Nice job. There's the PI. Once Cormar's done jumping around like a dick.
I got that stun grenade. I finally got it, everyone. Whew. I just bumped. Shut up so they can have a clear calm on there. I just want to say thank you. I hope the tank gives him that trinket. He really should. Hey, he did. That, that feels good. Oh. Soulbound? Oh, that hurts. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, truth be told. Oh, he's a little bit low. Oh. Oh. Well, I got the stun grenade. Okay, I'll go level this guy up. Oh, let's take a look. 20k overall. That's not too bad. It's like, I guess, barring all the other factors of when I use the CD and the pull sizes and all that stuff and the timing being a little bit odd. I think that's pretty all right. I've done lower a little higher but what's cool is i'm i i can definitely tell now let's take a look i want to find a pull where i really had good oh we'll take a look well actually enforcer's boss fight 33 33 did pretty well on the bosses any of the spots where i have avenging wrath active just by the nature of what I'm running here. It's like, so yeah, I don't get any main stat, which hurts, but you do get a huge mastery blast there. So it's like, I think it, in a spec like Rhett, where you do most of your appreciable damage. Allow me to help. This during place will your burst tidy anyways, itself. you're just like, you're gonna see good results from there i'm not saying that it's good like it's the best or it's it's a great trinket or anything like that but it seems like i didn't lose any damage from running the just what other trinkets i have available for me but i assume that the versatility trinket is going to be better because it always gives you some verse and then yeah so it's 173 versatility but let's take a look I'll, I'll kind of show you what I mean. Like, my usual burst without help, like, it, on, on these targets here is five little targets. It's like, well, you can burst over 100k easy on your opener, but let's take a look. I'm not getting the buff, the Hammer of Genesis, because I hit them earlier, so they're not counted as new targets. So it's a little bit lower than it normally would be. As you can see, like, that mastery amp is quite big. 105 with proc mastery. It's not too bad. I mean, we're sinking down, but you know, just keep in mind, like Hammer of Genesis on a five stack, like you got like another 15% haste or what have you on that. So more spenders, and of course, in a dungeon where you know you take haste as your um, your secondary amp for. Um, for the, for the seasonal fix um, by the end of it if you have a reasonable am amount of haste that's like a huge amount of damage that you can pull into um, into your into your burst and I like that that's pretty fun so I'm, I'm gonna upgrade the versatility trinket for sure but for now I'm gonna keep trolling around with this thing I mean I haven't had anybody tell me off like why are you using an edgy trinket um, in fact, I, I, I used the haste one earlier too, the flesh renders meat hook. It's because it's like a mini time warp. I'm not saying that that's good either, but it was, you know, it was nice. But the mastery at this point where I am, just with the way that the stats have been able to like kind of work out, I've just kind of put everything I can um, 
into mastery and haste it seems to pan out better for overall but i really yeah i gotta get gotta get a different weapon i do i did like the overseer's final word i don't know that there's like a very like you know reasonable difference between these two I, the sims tell me one thing but like i don't know i just i have a thing like i like haste it's not always the best option but the gameplay feels so much smoother with quick gcds and uh, with Hammer of Genesis uh, and the nature of Mythic Plus Dungeons, plus the haste proc you get from these rings, plus whatever you stack up, if you choose that as a secondary, I kind of like that. It's it's fast. You get a lot of resets and stuff on your, on your set. And then, of course, it's just that casino-style gameplay that every ret is very used to, which I, I personally hate. I really, really, really don't like it. But I almost don't know anything different at this point. I mean, that's what it's like. I know a lot of people gave the, they didn't like the one minute build earlier in the expansion. But I liked it because although I can't think of an instance, maybe somebody that played Ret, I played it in Kata. That's when I, that's when I rolled my first Ret um, for various reasons. I wanted to be one since, since vanilla, but I was Horde. Um, so Kata was my jumping off point once I like lost my friends that I was playing the game with at the time. I was like, oh, I'm stupid. So, but anyways, long story short, someone will have to tell me if there was ever a time where Red had consistent, reliable, no, maybe not, so. let's not say consistent, uh, damage swings that aren't completely like RNG. Because when I was playing in BFA, it was the same thing with that stupid, and some people ask for it back, mind you. Uh, what's it called? The Vision of Perfection. And I mean... I think those DPS swings were like 20, 30k sometimes. Uh, and even when you were running crit amps for the expurgation build, which I liked for its consistency, it was consistent. I liked it. Um, but you would still have those swings because if you get the Avenging Wrath procs, when do you get the procs? You're probably going to get the procs when it's not convenient, all that other stuff. I, I, I hate that. I don't like that. Um, casino gameplay is no fun. So maybe there's a time where that wasn't the case for Rhett, but I'm not really sure what it is because my experience with the spec has very much been like, hey, do I get my procs? And then on this one, even you're like, yeah, 50% chance to reset Wake of Ashes is nice, but it's like, if it's just Blade of Justice and you get the little Ashes to Ashes, you know, four seconds of Seraphim, it's like the difference between those is huge because, I mean, Wake of Ashes, you know, there's no comparison. I don't think I even Everything know. is negotiable. go over that. Anyways, this is just me ranting and rambling as usual. Uh, let's take a look. I'm actually going to... Remember. I wish I didn't use my hearth there. That was stupid. I'm going to head back and just hit the, the same the little five stack dummies real quick and just see if I can see like an immediate difference. But really, like, it's with the inconsistent when your dps is reliant on procs it's actually kind of hard um and i think this is borne out by by numbers which is why simming is so important anyways right but like you can't get an idea Welcome of what's actually working and what's not working on your own as easily because you're like oh i changed these things around but did you look back and see how many procs did you get how many wake of ashes did you reset right now that seems to be like the main thing so it would give me this biased idea of like, oh, this trinket's so good, man, it's so good. It's like, no, actually, you just got like a string of Wake of Ashes. This trinket's bad, but, you know. So, I'm grateful for, for simming. In the past, I've not simmed. Um, and you could, I feel like, you know, you, I, I, I've rated uh, like entire Mythic tiers, not CE, but like 10 out of 12 without simming that's just like a professor you know i'm professing how bad i am i guess but it wasn't for like ignorance i just like for me a big part of the draw is kind of figuring out what works for you on your own um but obviously simming really takes a lot of that out and if you're playing really high end i imagine there's really no room for that sort of experimentation but i think sometimes people do find really interesting interactions and things like that so it's like we always want to be that guy that finds like some kind of like amazing broken interaction but that's not really what i'm going for i just have i just have fun 
with, uh, with experimentation. That's really what it is. And as long as I'm not hindering a group of people by doing that, then I'll kind of do it, which is why, consequently, like, I started simming, like, and have been simming for years now, is because I realized at a certain point I was like, okay, I could get more juice out of this, and I'm holding my team back. So I, I better start simming and stop dicking around. Okay, let's just adjust the macro real fast for this guy. This is the Enforcer Stun Grenade. This is the one I see most rats running right now. Um, okay, let's make sure, actually, can I save that? Yes, we're good. All right, well, I'm not gonna get the Hammer of Genesis probably unless like zoning in and out i think sometimes like relogging does it i don't know either way let's see what we got here so it's seven percent mastery for all time no hammer of genesis of course i guess it's really a question of is 31 percent uh, versatility better than 90% mastery? And I would say no. The answer is no. Because, like, when you have your mastery as, like, a flat increase to your holy damage, um, it's just, like, there's a few specs that are like that, for, like, frosty kids and stuff like that. And um, take what I say with a grain of salt, because, like, I'm not a certified theory crafter. I'm just somebody who plays the game. Um, but, uh, the mastery, obviously, I think anyone can figure out, like, it's just flat damage that's going to be better than versatility, because it takes a lot to get versatility high. But this trinket probably wins out uh, for pretty obvious reasons, such that, like, you always have 7% versatility running, or at least I, for me. And without that trinket on, I'm looking at, like... I think it was like maybe 4%. So it might not be the biggest difference in the world. I feel bad I should have given him that then. If I wasn't sure on it, I should have given it to that DK, or DH rather. But I just I just don't trust myself. It's like, you know, you're running an agility trinket, you idiot. Like you do need, I do need the trinket. So we're settling in at about 33k coming up on the wings. I'm not sure if my Divine Tempest uh, kind of like sometimes it skitters out and hits that Guardian there, which I mean it's a tiny thing, but this is by no means a controlled test environment is what I'm trying to say. Not at all. It's just like a loose kind of whatever. I like the, the huge versatility pump, though, because, I mean, that's, like, you know, also it has the, the added benefit of, of giving you some durability since it decreases your damage taken as well. So I guess that'd be, like, roughly 15% roughly damage reduction. Uh, let's change that back again. My macros are a total mess. I don't need to drag and drop that. Don't know why I did. I'm sleepy and stupid. Um, so it's 3% versatility that I'm chilling. So, I mean, yeah, it's like, and I think that if I'm remembering correctly, it was 30-ish percent versatility with 39% with the Seraphim proc, maybe. And then this should be 50, 55 mastery to 90, 90%. Okay, let's... No lucky procs. Ah. So that's a perfect example of this, like, as you can see, I'm like, oh, so this trinket is clearly better than that trinket. And it's like, well, it's like, it's more about, like, your procs. I might have actually been standing back too far to get auto attacks in. Which is just me being stupid. Let's see, was I? No. 
No, that's still in range. I've been meaning to get, like, uh, maybe like a week or that just like plays a little alarm for me when I'm out of melee range. It happens a lot in Mythic Plus because I'm trying to get out of the fire and stuff like that. But I think what I want to do now is, um, well, let's alt tab here and make sure this is actually running correctly. Yep, should be good. <laughs> 